Top Gun recently announced the ES Reflectorless Total Station with some really strong performance advantages. TS Shield for security, a very powerful EDM, and long link communication to actually place the field controller at the prism pole. But what's most important is for you to see how it actually performs in the field. A few weeks ago we received the first ES Total Station and we did some field tests. I was really impressed. So let's take a look at a few ways the ES beats the competition. One of the great new features of the ES Total Station is Long Link. Long Link is long range wireless communication. I can stand far away from the instrument and still control it from here. And I've got the measurement here, 291 feet away. The big benefit to the customer is being able to describe the point here at the prism pole. I can describe whether it's the top of curb or bottom of curb. That eliminates a lot of mistakes that might happen in the field. Now I'd like to demonstrate further what Long Link can do. I'm standing over a thousand feet away with the total station down the street on the left and I can take a topo shot which is 1,158.86 feet away. A really long distance for long range communication. So next you're going to see how the ES outperforms the competition in difficult situations. Right now I'd like to show you how fast the EDM fires. So my Top Gun colleagues in Europe have done some side-by-side -side tests with the ES in the competition. Let's take a look at that. Our Top Gun team has compared the ES with the Leica TS-06 and the Nikon Nevo. They set up three real-world scenarios to establish a realistic comparison between the different instruments. You can judge the results for yourself. We've got a tower that's approximately 350 meters away. and The tower comprises of a, a silver column with a black chimney top. So I'm going to hold my hands up and I'm going to count down from three, two, one, and then I want you to take your measurement. Three, two, one. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is actually raise the telescope vertically. So we're sighting the center of the black column of the tower and repeat the measurement. Three, two, one. Fail. Fail. We've got a panel fence um, just in front of us and on the panel fence um, I want you to take a distance off one of the panels. 104 metres. Distance failed. Distance failed. So the purpose of the exercise that we're about to undertake now is to take each of the three EDMs and check them over certain distances. The first test will be the distance and the time it takes to measure that distance to a prism, then also to the road surface at the tip of the pole. Ready. Measurement. 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 Non-prism. Measurement. Measurement. The Nikon Nevo failed at about 100 meters, with the Leica falling short before 120. But the Top Gun ES measured to nearly 140 meters. That's a full 15% distance advantage over the next closest competitor. Lastly, we made a very straightforward distance test to a Kodak Grey card at 200 meters. Again, the Nikon Nevo failed. While both the Leica and the Top Gun made the shot, the Top Gun ES finished two seconds faster. So now you've seen how the ES stacks up against the competition, with some very strong performance advantages in long-range data collector communication, TS Shield for security, and a very powerful EDM. So now's the time to get out there and beat the competition and make that sale.